Drive's best performance car over $60,000 in 2015 is something of an all-star shootout. Our defending champion, the Porsche Cayman GTS, is back, but it's up against a quality field, including not one, but two Mercedes AMG, the C63 Sport Sedan and the GT Supercar. We've also got the HSV Club Sport R8 and the all-new Audi RS3 Sportback. It may be raining, but Drive Car of the Year performance testing doesn't stop for the weather. But it wasn't all fun and games, and we did get down to some serious testing. But it's important to remember that these cars have been scored against Drive Car of the Year's judging criteria, not being compared against each other as direct competitors. Our first contender is the new HSV Club Sport R8. Packing a 400 kilowatt supercharged 6.2 litre V8, it doesn't lack for power or oral drama. It showed its dynamic prowess on the track, although the lack of adjustable dampers found on its big brother, the GTS, meant its at-the-limit handling didn't win over all the judges. However, they were impressed by the way the locally made sports sedan performed on the road, finding a good balance between a comfortable ride and plenty of road holding. At just over $83,000, it certainly packs plenty of bang for your buck. Next up is the potent pocket rocket, the Audi RS3 Sportback. It may have started life as a humble A3 hatchback, but after a performance makeover, it is now fitted with a growling 2.5-litre five-cylinder turbocharged engine, good for 270 kilowatts and 465 newton meters. With Audi's trademark Quattro all-wheel drive system, the RS3 was not only fast but also easy to drive quickly, something that won over the judging committee. But its $78,000 price tag split the judges. Some thought it was a very expensive hatchback, others a very affordable sports car. Speaking of money, at over $294,000, the AMG GT wasn't cheap, but it does buy you a whole lot of car. The long snout hides a 375 kilowatt, four liter twin turbo V8 engine that launched the coupe from zero to 100 in just 3.8 seconds the fastest at Drive Car of the Year 2015. Although an awesome machine on the track, its lightning fast steering and busy on-road driving experience didn't win favour with all the judges. Its dramatic looks also split opinion amongst the judging group, but there's no doubt it is the most theatrical of these performance machines. The GT's little brother, the new C63S, was a more convincing package. Blessed with the same 375 kilowatt twin turbo V8, but with even more torque than the GT, a whopping 700 newton meters, the C63 was a car that brought a smile to every judge's face. Its adjustable driving modes gives it the ability to change character from a track weapon to a comfortable daily cruiser. Its practical four-door body may not be the traditional sports car style, but as a sports sedan, the C63 has few peers. The Cayman GTS is a formidable opponent. As we discovered last year, it is a performance car with very few weaknesses. Not as livable as the C63 perhaps, but as a pure sports car, it offers a driving experience that few rivals, regardless of cost, can beat. In the end, voting was closed with only five separating the top three. But there can only be one winner. And the winner of Drive's best performance car over $60,000 is the Porsche Cayman GTS, defending its title yet again. And that's the third consecutive victory for the German Coupe in this class. But the Cayman really had to fight for this one. The judges were impressed with all the cars, but they were particularly enamoured with the AMG C63. But what got the Cayman over the line was what gets it the win each year. It is just such a well-made car. It may not be the most powerful sports car in the world, but it is one of the best balanced. It's got just the right amount of power and grip. It is so finely tuned, it is a treat to drive, and it's just as enjoyable to drive on the road as it is on the track. It's just such a great all-round performance machine.
The 3.4 litre flat six engine produces a healthy 250 kilowatts of power and 380 newton meters of torque. After seeing off such a competitive and diverse group of rivals, there's no doubt the Cayman GTS is one of the best performance cars money can buy.